Hey guys, how's it going? My name is John and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to take a closer look at a brand new cartridge I got for the Sega Genesis. It's called the EverDrive. This thing is brand new to the market. Uh, and I picked it up on a really great website that I've used for a while now. It's called StoneAgeGamer.com. I'll put a website link below so you guys can check it out. And that is an exclusive retailer for this particular cartridge, at least in North America that I'm aware of. So uh, check it out. It's a great website. This is a great cartridge. I'm going to show you kind of what it does exactly because you're probably wondering yourself, what's the average drive? What's the big deal? And why is, why is it so much money? It's really cool. It's very unique. Let's take a closer look. Thanks for watching, guys. So here is a closer look at the cartridge. It comes with a nice case. There's actually two versions of this so you can pick up on StoneAgeGamer.com. You can get the, the basic board, and that is $80. You can get the deluxe version, which I have in my hand here, and that's $115. You're thinking to yourself, wow, that's a lot of cash. That's a lot of Dota. To pay for something like this, but hopefully by the end of the review, I'll have a better understanding of what exactly it does and why this thing kicks ass. Uh, it is here's it comes with a nice case here. On the back, it shows you uh, plays most Genesis Mega Drive 32x games and Master System games, which is really cool. Easy to use menu system with many great features. Loads game ROMs off of MMC or SD card uh, and plays them on the original hardware, which is really cool. So. That's basically what it is. So let's open it up and see what we've got here. We've got two little vouchers here for free upgrade, which is the one expires six months uh, a year from now, another six months from from now, which is which is cool. So you can always upgrade this the hardware. All right, and this is the cartridge right here, and this is deluxe version. So this is made by a guy in the Ukraine, and that's his uh, the website you can check out. Now, up until now, in order to get one of these, you'd have to actually send him like a money order, and he would actually send you one. But now, thanks to Stone Age Gamer, you're able to, to get one much e more easier than, than before. And this is it, and it comes with the SD card. So here it is, this is the SD card. It comes with two, a two gig car, uh, SD card, and you're thinking to yourself, wow, is that really enough to load all the games I want to on my Sega Genesis? Well, absolutely, in fact, I'm pretty sure you can load all the Sega Genesis games, Sega Master System games, and 32X games, and probably still have room left over, so, Two gigs is plenty of room to store your game. So basically what you do is you have to go onto your computer, you load your ROMs onto your SD card, you plug it into the cartridge like here, like so, and amazingly enough, it translates the ROMs through the cart onto the original hardware. So okay, pretty cool. So, so it's can... loaded in, we have the game loaded up, powered on. And in case you guys are wondering, I am playing this on my CDX system. It's my preferred method of system play, the Genesis on. And this is the menu screen, you got your play game, you got your select game, options, toolbox, okay? Um, select game, we don't have any games loaded at the moment, so that's, em that's empty. Let's go to options. And this is your hardware reset, fast write, make key, auto run, region patch. Uh, and so you actually play uh, Mega Drive games on your Genesis through the system as well. You can take the region lock off, which is cool. Toolbox. Disable, you get device, modules, format, SD. That's what we gotta do, update OS. Is we gotta format our SD card in order to, sometimes it doesn't read it, so we're gonna format it. So here we are, gonna auto write it. And done, it's pretty quick. That's all you have to do. One thing cool about this game though, I haven't loaded any games at the, to this point into this SD card quite uh, yet, but we're gonna say play game. And this game is loaded into, this is the Super Mario Brothers version on the Genesis. Check it out. Look at the music. Completely different. <laughs> so this, is, this is basically Super Mario Brothers running on the second Genesis. It's pretty funny. This just came out recently. The buttons are uh, reversed. Thing. Buttons are reversed, so it's a little confusing to play. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Kind of, kind of fun, uh, fun of them to, to load this game. So this game is included uh, in in the, the cartridge itself. I was going to show you how to load ROMs onto the SD card. Okay. So here we are at my desktop. I'm using a Mac in this example. Uh, this works the same way on a PC. Very similar. Not much different. What we're going to do: we insert an SD card. We're going to open up like so. And so we got a window here. We go to File. Go to new folder, 
I'm going to name the folder Genesis uh, numbers through D. That I'm doing it alphabetically, so uh, I know uh, as far as what games I'm looking for. I open up my ROMs here, on my side, and I'm going to just basically click and drag them over. Oh, actually, before I do that, let me open this. Just make it easier. I'm going to open up the folder and then do it. I could have done it the same way. I could have done it on there as well. So here I got the folders all in alphabetical order, just kind of so I know which ROMs look for. And I'm going to show you an example of probably a game that most of us should be familiar with. We're going to go to the S folder. We're going to go over here to Sonic the Hedgehog, and I'm going to show you how it plays using the average drive and how quick it is to load. Don't mind the, the blurriness out of focus here. That's a camera. And bam, pretty quick. Now keep in mind guys, this is not an emulation by all means, okay? Even though it is a ROM, it's playing on the original hardware. So the audio, uh, the, the color, the sound, it's all gonna be pretty much the way it was supposed to be in, if you were to buy the cartridge itself, which is really cool. Obviously this is a classic game. It plays very well, okay? Now the cool thing I wanna point out about the EverDrive is it does have the ability to save games. So there aren't very many Genesis games that have a built-in backup memory. So there's like Sonic the Hedgehog 3 has one. Uh, you can do Fantasy Star 2, 3. Those all have files where you can save games. And it will actually save it onto the ROM. So it's a really cool feature. So if you're playing the game, you want to save it, go back to another game and go back to the game you're just playing that you saved it, it will load your previous save file. That's a really cool feature of the EverDrive. Let's check out some other gameplay footage. This game, if you're a big fan of Contra, this is the game to check out for the Genesis. I absolutely love Gunstar Heroes. It's a great just shooter, awesome shooter. And it plays just like it would if you were to have the Gunstar Heroes on disc, okay? Or on cart, I should say. Alright, let's go back to pause it. Uh, let's go back to the main menu. The really cool thing about the EverDrive, guys, it will play 32x games. Now, in order to do that, you need a 32x attachment. Now, unfortunately, my 32x attachment is not one to cooperate for this video, so I couldn't show you a demonstration, but I will get that fixed, and eventually I'll be sure to show you that on how the 32x. But it, it plays, from my understanding, very well. There's a couple things I do want to point out about the EverDrive that I want to bring to your attention. Uh, for certain files, uh, you see how it ends in BIN. Those will load okay. There's certain files. Let's go back and I'm going to show you an example here. See if I can find one. Games that file end in. Uh, most of them are bins, so they'll work. Okay. SMD, Theme Park. See how it ends in SMD? For some reason, those files will not load on the EverDrive. However, you can go to this website that the creator, I'll put a link below, and he has a program that will convert the SMD to bin. Uh, essentially so it says unknown and it's not gonna it's gonna load and it's gonna flash and be blank so that's something I definitely want to bring to your attention now there are games you can't actually play on the EverDrive that were not available on the Genesis so I'm going to show you an example of a classic game you guys most of us will know that was never released on cartridge form for a North America now this was released in Brazil I believe Duke Nukem 3D on the Genesis let's check it out here's load it up And to play this game on a, on a directional pad is very difficult. Tech Toys is a company in Brazil. They still make a lot of games. Uh, they made a lot of Sega Master System games. Sega Master System was very, very popular in, in Brazil and Europe. And, and uh, they ported a lot of games to the Sega Master System and obviously the Genesis as well. Here we are. Nu Nuke 3 for the Genesis. of keg. Let's do, uh, let's rock. And, uh, we have Duke Nukem now. This game, try to line it up. It's, uh, <laughs> very difficult. Like I said, without any analog stick, the game is, is very challenging. But, you know, considering it's on a ring on a 16-bit platform, 
Uh, pretty cool. I thought it was uh, pretty cool. See, I'm getting my ass kicked here, but let's reboot it. One of the really cool things about the EverDrive is that the Sega Genesis is backwards compatible. They had the back power base converter that was released uh, for the Model 1 Sega Genesis where you can play Sega Master System games. So uh, Sega released the system really to be backwards compatible. With that being said, you can actually play Sega Master System games on the EverDrive, which is really cool. So it opens up your library to games even more so. And unfortunately, the Sega Master System was not very popular in North America. Uh, it, it was de de decent in Japan, but it was very, very popular in Brazil and very popular in Europe. Uh, I got my folders here, and we're going to check out a game here. My personal opinion, the Sega Master System, the graphically, and, and both with sound, audio-wise, it's, it's superior than the Super Nintendo, or I'm sorry, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, however, that being said, the games aren't nearly as good. It just didn't have the third-party support in North America, unfortunately, but uh, I do like the system. I, I do not like the controller, so it's really nice to have the Genesis controller and play it on the EverDrive system. So here here we are. Uh, let's check out Mortal Kombat 2. Okay, here we are. So if you have a Game Gear version of this game, this is very similar to the Game Gear version. In, in essence, essentially, the Game Gear was a portable Sega Master System, which is pretty cool. And we're going to choose difficulty. We're going to choose our guy here. I love these 8-bit graphics. This is something the Nintendo Entertainment System definitely could not do, pull off. This game is very, very choppy, though. Yeah, so you can see... Uh, I'm going to try to freeze him. There you go. <laughs> anyway, very interesting game running on the Sega Master System. Let's check out some more Sega Master System games for this. The next game I'm going to point out is Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Master System, which is a great game for the system. But uh, yeah, it's not bad for 8-bit. Uh, for and, it, and it runs really well on the EverDrive, which is really cool. Let's check out some of the comp compatibilities and see what systems this EverDrive will work for, okay? The first system I tried was a GN Twin. And I could not get the EverDrive to work on the GN Twin. I also couldn't get it to work on my Retron 3. So the EverDrive is not compatible with, from my understanding, from what I've seen here, with any of the clone systems. So it's kind of a big downfall. Uh, you need an actual Sega product in order to play the EverDrive from what I've tested. The next product we're going to check out is the Gen Mobile. We'll see if this works on the Gen Mobile. Let's power this thing on. And it does not read the EverDrive. This thing goes straight to the menu screen. There's some built-in games in here. So it does not, again, this clone system does not work with the EverDrive, unfortunately. Okay, the next system we're going to test out is Nomad. This is an official Sega licensed product made by Sega. So let's test my theory and see if this will actually work on the Nomad. And it appears to be reading it. Let's check out Select Game. Let's just pick out a game here. And here's the game we're loaded up. Check out volume. That's cool. So the fact that this works on the Nomad, definitely a plus in my book. It's pretty cool. Now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering, will it work on the Mega Drive? Well, I have a Mega Jet here, which is essentially a Mega Drive. And we're going to turn this thing on. And it does work. So, it will work on the Mega Drive, which is a huge plus as well. This is the last system. I'm going to test out. This is the JVC XI. This was a Sega CD and Genesis Game in 1. And it wasn't made by Sega, more made by JVC, but it's kind of, it's got Sega parts. So let's see if it works. My guess it's going to work is my guess. So let's test it out. And indeed, it does read the EverDrive, which is really cool. Now the question is going to arise, people are going to ask, if you own the EverDrive, does, does it give you a reason never to buy any other Genesis games ever again? And I suppose, you know, technically you could say, you know, I own all the games that went on ROM. Why would I want to go out and get the game? My personal opinion 
I enjoy the hunt. As a collector, I enjoy going out in the wild. I enjoy going to stores. I enjoy the hunt of finding games. So this is not going to affect my ability to collect games. 98% uh, of the ROMs I own anyway, I own the games for. In fact, a lot of the ROMs you see here are games that I actually uploaded using my Retrode, a Retrode uh, device, which I did a review on earlier, which allows me to, to take that, the ROM and, and rip it to a computer. So I own most of these games. The, one, the only games I really don't own honestly on these are the ones that are I'm unavailable to get so you know like Duke Nukem 3D uh, Smurf stuff like that I'm not able to buy on the Genesis but all the other games I own are on the ROM so this is not going to affect my ability to buy Genesis and games if actually it's going to increase my me to want to go out and find the games I enjoy finding the games on the wild I enjoy the, 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 the artwork I enjoy the box I enjoy the manuals I want to see what you guys think about ROMs and emulations and all that good stuff but Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll have another video up shortly. We'll see you soon. Take care. Happy gaming. Bye-bye.